Hi everyone, it's Corrie and today I'm going to show you how to put this coronation cake topper together. Here are all of my pieces cut out and I'm going to start with the uh, layers of cardstock. Little disclaimer, I'm afraid that my uh, phone ran out of battery as I was recording this. So um, there is a bit missing at the end of this video, but I will try and talk you through what I did. Um, I really apologize for that, quite embarrassed. Um, but anyway, let's get started. So this is how the layers go together. I've cut them in um, plain black cardstock and then the red, white and blue are all in glitter. So I'm starting at the back here, which is the red glitter. And I'm just going to go over the back of each layer with this double-sided foam tape. Obviously, if you prefer, you could just use uh, glue. I like Beacon 3-in-1 glue, um, but I'm using foam today because I want a really 3D effect for this cake topper. Okay, so that's my um, first few layers put together. Just put that aside. Now you'll notice in this video, this is actually um, a topper which I did for the Queen's Jubilee, um, but we're using the exact same file, just with um, some different text on it. Now this white circle goes behind this black area like this. So again, I'm just gonna use glue around the black the back of the black edge, the circle there, and put that in place. Okay, um, moving on to the leaves. Uh, there's some quite small pieces in their little details so it's worth giving it a little bit of a weed um, i'm going to actually move on to adding the union jack into the center of this circle now uh, before i finish off the other side um, i cut this black layer in vinyl um, you can see there's like a little semicircle missing from the bottom that's how you know which way up it goes so I'm just going to use transfer tape and attach it into the center of this circle. If you're ever using vinyl and attaching it to um, card, it's handy to have a pre-used piece of transfer tape. Um, if you don't have a pre-used piece, um, you can just kind of put your fingers all over the transfer tape around the edge of your design and that will take some of the stickiness away because we don't want that transfer tape to tear the card when we put it on. Okay, for the red and blue layers, I've used this uh, glitter card, but it would work really well in um, vinyl as well. It'd be easier to apply because there are some quite small pieces, um, but I really wanted this uh, crazy glitter effect and I only had cardstock. I didn't have um, any glitter vinyl to do this. So I'm just gonna attach all these pieces uh, with my beacon glue. Okay guys, now I, um, as I said earlier, I apologise, um, my uh, phone ran out of battery and I, I missed the last pieces of uh, me putting this topper together, um, but I'll try and talk you through what I did. The next step was to add 
this um, green glitter cardstock onto the black. And then I attached it with um, foam dots again, as you can see. And then I added this um, purple with um, glue and this bit here. And then this part, the crown, the writing and the date are all uh, vinyl. Again, attached using uh, transfer tape. And then that would have been the front piece completed. So we only missed a little, a little bit of information, which is why I, I didn't want to redo the video completely. This is actually the reused cake topper from um, 2022, from when the Queen had her Jubilee. Um, and then the next step would have been to turn this over. Obviously, I've got a black back on this one. You should still have a piece that looks like this. And then I added these two skewers, again, using the Beacon 3-in-1. So I would have put them in place, as you can see. Um, and then I would have used this double-sided foam tape to go all over the area. And then basically put another bit of glue on the opposite side of the skewer and attach this final piece. So again, apologies for um, the missing piece of assembly video there, but I think it's pretty straightforward. Um, but if you have any problems, please contact me. Thanks now. Bye.